Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the swimming pool over there. This time we're gonna take a chance and we're gonna shoot it with the Canic and uh, nine millimeter. This time we have some six six hour V Crown 124 grain jacket at hollow point. Um, there are your velocities and such on there. I forgot my chronograph, so I can't verify this, unfortunately. But uh, I've tested this, this stuff in 10 millimeter, and it seems to uh, seems to be pretty accurate. It's got pretty decent. We got a pretty substantial um, hollow point on it, so it should do pretty good in the water jugs. Hopefully, a lot better than the other stuff that I had that PPU in the 10 millimeter. Guess we'll see what happens. Let me uh, line the cameras all up and stuff and uh, send the 9mm to the drink. We are about 10, about 10 feet away. Nine millimeter canic, six hour V crown. Whew. That's wet. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That made a pretty pretty substantial little deal right there. I believe that that was the first jug right there. Destroyed that sucker. Uh, I believe this jug number two. Jug number three. And we're already veering off course. And jug number four. No captured bullet. Well, I should have stepped back a little bit farther. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. I got wet pretty bad. Oh well. So we didn't capture the bullet on this one, so we might have to try this again. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try this again. Let me set it back up again. Okay. Well, that gave such a good explosion. I was going to do the uh, the 10 millimeter next. Just just because and use whatever jugs I had left. Just to uh, for the 9 millimeter. So I set the jugs back up again. And... And I was going to... Um, going over here to set up my, turn the camera on, and I look over here, whoop, sorry, and look what I found, right on the corner of the table. Nine millimeter. So it went through the third jug, one, two, third jug, and it hit it here, remember? And it scooted out and landed all the way over here. Man, look at that thing, that is gorgeous. That is a sexy bullet right there, my friends. Look at that thing. Man, you could not ask. All the petals on that thing are reaching backwards. That is gorgeous. You could not ask for a better hollow point than that. When I get home, I'll have to weigh it. 
I, I don't think it lost anything, if anything at all. But man, that is, that is absolutely gorgeous. So I guess we've got our, got our answer what this looks like. Man, that is sexy, if I do say so myself. So I guess we've come to our conclusion on the Sig Sauer 9mm. About three jugs. Probably would have, probably would have maybe went into the fourth. But, uh, well, let me set up the 10 millimeter, and uh, we'll do that. Could be two videos, could be one video, don't know yet. But that is sexy right there. So here we are, 124.1 grains, almost exactly. I don't believe in all that fancy electronic stuff. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and get the uh, see uh, the the uh, opened diameter if I can talk today. Holy crap! All right, and our max expansion is 0.594. Not too bad out of a 0.356 diameter bullet, and. Uh, Get a look at that sucker. These are not sharp, but they are pointy. Same thing with these. It's a better look at it, but man, oh man, look at that sucker. That is a beautiful bullet right there. All right, well, you guys have a good evening. This ends our uh, ammunition swimming pool number two. You guys have a nice night. Man, that's sexy.